Hi, my name is Sudeep Kesh of Standard & Poor's Global Fixed Income Research. Each quarter, we publish outlooks on global corporate and sovereign issuers, as well as regional reports for the U.S., U.S. speculative grade, Europe, and the emerging markets. In the next few minutes, I'd like to share some of the highlights from our U.S. corporate rating actions and outlook report. In the first quarter of 2014, S&P downgraded 62 issuers, accounting for $125 billion in rated debt, and upgraded 55, accounting for $143 billion. Downgrades outpaced upgrades in both speculative grade and investment grade domains, though the resulting downgrade ratios remained below historical averages. The high technology and consumer product sectors led downgrade activity as well as rating actions overall. There were eight downgrades and six upgrades among high tech companies, and seven downgrades and six upgrades among consumer products companies in the first quarter. By debt volume, the biggest downgrades were names like Target and Cablevision, with rated debt of roughly $15 billion in each case while the biggest upgrades included Altrea Group, Prologis, and Chrysler, with rated debt worth over $10 billion. While most sectors have a stable outlook, we expect the automotive, forest products, and home builders and real estate sectors to lean towards improving credit quality, while the metals and mining and retail and restaurant sectors may lean towards declining credit quality. With respect to upgrade potential, the positive bias for autos reflects higher demand for U.S. vehicles, particularly overseas, and improving sales overall. For housing-related sectors, the positive bias reflects our view that home builders and REITs will continue to show growth this year. Their recovery beyond the year will require stronger job growth and income growth. The downgrade potential in the metals and mining sector primarily reflects weak demand for coal. In the retail space, consumer demand has been weak as consumers have grown more selective in their spending, constraining top-line growth for retailers. We believe this negative leaning bias will continue through the year. For additional details, please see our report titled U.S. Corporate Rating Actions and Outlook, as well as the other four reports in this series. My name is Sudeep Kesh, and thanks for listening.